So, when you've designed your component you want to manufacture, um, you'll do that in such software programs as AutoCAD or SolidWorks. You can then take that file and import it into AlphaCAD. So here's the Geneva wheel that I've imported into AlphaCAD. At this stage, to AlphaCAD, it's just a simple plain 2D shape. So you have to tell it how the thickness of the material, and you also have to program where the tool will put and how the tool will put. So the first thing we'll do is we'll select the tool. So here you get all the different types of tools that are set in the machine. So what we'll do is we'll pick a flat 10 millimeter milled slot drill. We place it in, the program now knows what tool we are going to use to make the cuts. The next thing is we'll change uh, our tool directions. Depending on how you rotate around the piece will depend on what uh, rotation the tool will have, whether it be clockwise or counterclockwise. If you're putting on the outside of a piece and you are rotating counterclockwise, your tool must be cutting clockwise. So we set clockwise, outside, and we set. That now tells us that the tool will go in that direction. So we go to a function called rough or finish. So we're going to call this operation number one. And we're going to have machine compensation, which is G4142. This is an internal compensation in the machine that will know from a, a datum zero zero point the X, Y, and Z axis directions. So we click OK. So we take the safe rapid level. If you assume we've already set our datum on the machine to zero, that's where the tool, the bottom of the tool will interact with the top of the part. We'll say a safe rapid level is 25 millimeters. This means it will traverse quickly down at 25 millimeters from the part, it will stop and then slowly increment in. It gives the user a chance, if there's anything going wrong, to stop the machine before the component is damaged. The material top is zero. We'll wrap it down to 30. And the final depth on the first cut, we'll say, is one millimeter. And to cut one millimeter, we'll use one cut. We have tool number three selected. It tells us the diameter. It automatically calculates the feed rate for us, the offset number, the spin speed, and the feed put. This has been done because we have told AlphaCam exactly what material we're using, which is aluminium. It has a database which will select the best tool feeds for that material. If you select steel, it will give you a different type of data. Stock to be left. We use the stock to be left when we're on the last cut. Um, on our last cut, we will leave a 0.2 millimeter stock. This is the last piece that you'll take off the part for your finished cut. So we select the part. We now have a blue line. This blue line with the arrow indicates the direction the tool will cut all the way around. see there, it still has no depth because we haven't programmed the depth into it. So what we can do then, we can set the work volume. So we select a rectangle around the component shape. This now gives us the size of the component we'll be doing. It's going to ask us, material top is zero. If I set the material top is 20, minus 20, that now means from the zero to minus 20 is the thickness of the piece. So when you come to a solid simulation, it's now 20 millimeters thick. You run that simulation, 
once you've done all your tool pads, you'll do multiple tool pads for different depths. Once you've gotten down below the last depth of it, you've cut your piece, you put in your finish cut, transfer it to the CNC machine.